Hi guys, it's me again. <laughs> um, Brace with Tortel Repair Services, and uh, today we have an iPad Mini first generation. Um, the customer thought that he knocked out a component on the um, touchscreen connector. Uh, he was doing the repair, and he's not getting any touch, so he sent it over. Um, but we realized once we got here that it's not a missing component, like a resistor or anything like that. It's actually, a Bent like a missing pin. Let me show you. So he is missing that left pin on the connector. Uh, you see it how you have a little gold things and then suddenly there's nothing. So um, our job here today is going to be to replace this connector. I don't think I've shown you guys a lot of like connector jobs, so um, a fairly simple. Um, it's just a matter of like controlling your heat and hopefully not knocking anything out. So let's see how we do. Um, give me a minute. Well, okay, so first things first, we always add plugs, and we might need a lot of uh, heat on this one just because we didn't. Uh, I decided not to get out of the housing. I don't feel like doing all that work right now. It's the end of the day for me. And I just want to be done with all these repairs today so I can mail all this stuff out to their corresponding owners. And so we're going to crank it up to 400 because it's going to suck up a lot of the because it's in the housing, the, the the housing itself is gonna suck up um, a lot of the heat due to thermal mass. Uh, so we're setting it at 400 with 75 airflow, and hopefully that's enough. And we're doing 75 airflow because we also don't kind of be knocking out anything in its way. Always use circles. Circles are important. And that one, but that's okay because that's the bad one and it's so close what happens, right? And I'm going to add some plus again. This is going to be very irritating. So plus. We're adding 138 in this particular phase is because FPC connectors are very, um, you know, you don't want to melt them on accident. So the best thing we can do is add low, low melt uh, solder. And then that we have to use less heat to, um, you know, install it and all that. And then we're going to wick these pads to get rid of all that factory solder. Now we're gonna do and clean that pad a little bit. Where it shows that you have no interest in the customer, maybe you will get angry at the customer, maybe you will not know how to answer the customer. So be a negative if you don't know, and you always have to stay positive. And sometimes it's hard to stay positive. Okay, so what we're going to do again is add some flux, and we're going to try and do this little pads right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video was beneficial to you in one way or another. Leave it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. That will be something else. That I do. Okay, well.
And what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to put those ground pads a bit. So we're just going to set it like that and hopefully it goes on. Screw it. So we're going to lower this temperature to 365 and let's do 50 airflow. And then hopefully that will help this can happen going Let me just arrange this again. Apparently, I'm having a dump that day. Guys, one more time. The goal is to keep your air moving. with different flux and so working with that um two two three or whatever because i am out of uh five five nine and what am i supposed to do not Saturn. maybe some out of flux and how that works so that works again so you just you just make do right Try that.
down and we'll take it for a test drive. Okay, so how we're going to test this is we're going to do dire mode readings of the bottom. First, um, the entire bottom row should be, um, needs to be reading, uh, needs to have a, a reading on each pen. That's an easy one. Can you all see? Right there. Okay. So, but Four seventy eight. Beautiful. So now the top row has only like one, two, three, four current reading. So I believe it goes mm, go something like this. Like oops, no, wrong one. Not bad. I think this one's a good one. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Ground, good ground, ground. So it's supposed to be this one's ground. Good. This one's a good one. So it's 479. Then 479. And that's supposed to be. Oops. Ground, ground, and then 503, 503, 502, 502, this one's supposed to be ground, I believe, ground, let me double check, I can't remember which one was ground, yep, the second to last one is ground, Oops. Sorry, I'm using the camera to. <laughs> yeah, ground. There we go. And second line two. Beautiful, perfect. So those dotted mode readings are within range. I'm gonna clean this up. It looked a little fluxy when I was looking through the scope. I don't want to send it back looking too fluxy. Oh, come on. One thing I don't like about this flex is really, really hard to get it off surfaces. It's bothering me a little bit. Let's see, I have to scrape it off. And that, that might just be good enough. Instead of nitpicking, I like can always do. That's just beautiful. I'm going to this flux right here. Get rid of this. I can imagine this being very useful when you want to clean. Fairly clean for the most part. There we go. There we go. Pretty enough. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and assemble this for my customer. And then I'll be early. And it looks like it worked. Uh, 
we got the iPad right here. I don't know if y'all can see. Customer had already reset it. So, oops. We're going to go through the steps right now. This iPad minis take forever sometimes. I do apologize. There we go. We're going to find our Wi-Fi's. I don't want y'all to have my Wi-Fi password. You people don't need to have it. <laughs> Obviously, touch is working because I'm going through all the motions. <clears throat> I just want to get it to that main screen so we can do a full-on test with the assistive touch. So what I do is I turn on that little assistive touch off ball and I just move it around the screen to make sure that um, the full digitizer is completely working. But this is taking a little long. <laughs> Well, we're going to leave it as this. We're going to do the full test and uh, take it from there. Um, I do appreciate everybody watching. And uh, thank you so much for um, staying with me through this journey. We will see you in the next video, guys. Have a good night.